Gentlemen, this episode of the Mud Blood Podcast is what are you doing? It's brought to you by Manscaped. Ma- Manscaped? Manscaped! Manscaped! They are a male grooming organization and they are sponsoring us. And they sponsor us to tell you about shaving your ballocks. Because your gallic, your ballocks get hurry and they get hurry as you get older. The dates part of growing up, part of becoming a man. So if you want to shave you get her them, in your nugs. you want to keep them clean, you want to have them feed them fresh, it's coming up to Valentine's Day here. You want to have them on fucking game, on point. Slap on the bottle toner. Get them shaved. Use the kit. You can get the boxer shorts. I come the you kit. get the boxer shorts. Tight little boxer shorts. Pack all your shit up in there. Get it ready for her. Have it all sitting ready. Be like, here's your dinner, Day. bitch. Happy Valentine's Day. Have Shaving it, bollocks. Whether you want it or not. Yeah, it's really romantic. We smooth bollocks. Manscaped, and we can get you money. We can get you money off your wee smooth bollocks. Do you want that? Do you want we cheap smooth you like bollocks? That, do, you? do you like that? Because we can fucking do it you for you. We can get you twenty percent so off do. if you're a wee cheap bastard who has hairy bollocks. Use the code Mudblood twenty percent off your kit. Mudblood gets you twenty yeah. percent. Go and get it. Get them shaved. Have fresh, clean bollocks. Yeah, you dirty Make the bastard, woman or the man in your life happy. Yeah. Get all, get all smooth and stuff. You fucking creep. And we're also joined. <laughs> We're also sponsored by Hench Distillery. It's a lovely local whiskey distillery. Irish whiskey is massive, huge, all around the world. And this Hench whiskey is absolutely delicious. This one here comes from a double wood connoisseur collection. It's that nice. It gives me double wood when I drink yeah, it. It's and lovely. It, and, it, and, it's, and it's in a cast from Madeira Wine Cast. Finished. Madeira is a wee island. On Portugal, and they take the cast, they put the whiskey in it, they leave it for fucking five years, five years, yeah, and then you get that taste. It's, it's delicious. It's lovely. If you like whiskey, check out Hinge. Go and check it out. Enjoy this week's episode. Beep, 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 beep. Drink responsible. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this week's edition of the Mumbler Podcast with myself, William Thompson, joined as always by Patrick McDonald. What is happening? All good, all good, all good. How we are join you? you on this fucking freezing Wednesday morning. Oh, it's so fucking cold in here. How you feeling? All good. I'm, I'm, I'm nice and warm. Oh yeah, I'm nice. I have a radiator tucked around my ball. Oh, you've got that fucking oh, you cheeky bastard! I'm sitting here, no heat. It's going all the his thighs. Nah, it's alright. You can have it. You sure? Yeah, you can have the sweaty ball. Do you want to do Navy Seals and what's it and hug it out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one, we can just cuddle this entire podcast. <laughs> well, that's why I had. I, I really had an issue with the podcast. I'm like, you're like, what's wrong? And I'm like, you just don't cuddle me enough on it. It's just the, yeah. cu- the cuddle podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we, our family is so fucking love that cuddle cast. Can we cuddle cast? Imagine my guest and he didn't know what the podcast was. I had a mate that liked to cuddle. What do you mean? Like he would have tried to cuddle. Like, like a wee hug or oh, like? Oh, like if you were away on like a school trip or anything. He was like, a cuddle. <laughs> sure, I went down <laughs> brilliant in secondary school. Like. Yeah. Oh, were you away this week? How long's it? Um, no, I started my regional occupied six counties tour. Um, started in Cold Rain. Very good. It's everybody in Cold Red. It, it was a good show, but I came off the back end of being sick for a couple of days. So knowing you know your energy's not the same. I, and you're not. Plus I, I went out and said something about Jamie Bryson at the very start, and I think it set the tone for the night. What, like? <laughs> they didn't like it. Oh, they didn't like it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you did an hour on Bryson. Jamie, thinking of you. It's been a terrible week for you. Yeah. Just... I didn't know what you were tweeting about last week, and then I went home and read those tweets, and it is fucking hilarious. What's that? But uh, him at the meeting. Yeah, fucking. And then he starts tweeting like they know Jamie Bryson's live tweeting the meeting. They're asking for everyone's phones. And he's like, and That's... somebody wore a wire. Is that what it was? Somebody wore a wire, <laughs> like in the DUP, <laughs> so that he could listen. Because somebody says they thought it was phones, right? So somebody says they thought it was phones. So in the meeting, they were going, "Turn your phones off." And Jamie's tweeting, who's telling everybody to turn the phone off now? Right? So it wasn't a phone. Yeah. So the rack and somebody wore a wire in for him to listen. Imagine they did that being like, you can just so you can listen, Jimmy, don't let anyone know I've li- let you listen to this. And, and the cons like live streaming it. And you're sitting with a wire going. <gasps> <laughs> the DUP if, are the men behind the wire now. If if, <laughs> if if there was somebody in the DUP, who do you think was wearing a wire? Paisley Jr. 
110 <laughs> percent. Like, I told Sammy Wilson, and yeah. I went, nah, nah, because he he just wants to get naked. Yeah, Do you know, we so junior only if you offered him thirty quid. He'd be allegedly. Like, by the way, we're not slandering him. Jimmy, like, <laughs> I can give you a going place for your share. He's like, I'd wear what? Fun guy. <laughs> like, you're getting the next round. I'll do. Oh, fuck fun so. guy to be fair. He is a fuck. I don't agree with him ever. But the the thing with Paisley Junior is like, I don't even think he really gives a fuck. I think he's like, I've got a cushy job here where I do fuck all. I get it's the flower. It's the a wind. legacy thing, like it's yeah. Like, it's like taking over your dad's business. Yeah, he's like Bradley I don't Walsh's. Like sell, I don't like selling sofas, but fuck it. But that's uh, the fucking sofa king. Yeah, a ball of money. It's like doing Bradley it. Walsh's son me? hosting gladiators. Do you know Does I mean? he? Oh, have you not seen this? No. He's fucking awful. Is he? What's his name? It's something. Barney. Walsh? Barney Walsh. <laughs> Barney Walsh. It's him and Brad. That's what his name is. Barney. <laughs> and him and Bradley. What's his name? Something Walsh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you said. You're like, I know. I know. Because like, <laughs> I can't. What's his name? And I'm like, it's, it's obviously Walsh. <laughs> I can't remember his first name, but it's probably Ballbeg Walsh. It's Barney Walsh. Oh, he's so Barney Ballbeg. Barney Ballbeg Walsh. That's I fucking a ring to it. I swear to God, that's what you should christen him because he's fucking awful. Is he big BBW? But like, I like Bradley Walsh, even though he can be annoying on the chase. Uh-huh. His son doesn't have that charm, like. Right. And he clearly, and his ma's like the producer of the show. You can tell it's just giving the job. For the boys. For the boys, and he's fucking shite, like. Mm. Fucking shite. It's nothing worse, like. Oh, but, Absolutely nothing yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah. T- like, TV and music and all is full of it, though. Oh, fuck, of course. Even Lily Allen, when she came out, being like, yeah, I'm from what? London, and then but you're, you know you're a posh cunt from London. But you know what? I like her music. Oh, I love Lily Allen's music. I really do, like. I first started listening to it again, and yeah. I'm like... Do you know who I started listening to again? Plan B. Oh, I love Plan B. Fuck, he's brilliant. What's that? What happened? Defamation of Strickland Banks. That's a great album. Unbelievable. He's class. He also does, if you ever, he does great songs with Chase and Status. Every time they do a song together, it's fucking banging. Mm. What's end credits? Do you know that song, Sean? Yeah. Like when the blood dries in my veins. Oh, it's a it's fucking memory show. went from music and he started doing acting. He was good. He was quite good. Sorry. There's some people do that and they're all I love that Eminem did it once was, in, was, was incredible and went I'm never well, doing that again. He played himself. He did! And we all know how hard that is. <laughs> it is. I can't do it. <laughs> God knows I can't do it. Can I get the part? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, part of here's it. Can you play Paddy McDonald? No. Yeah, I love that. You've had about four separate times, like we've written this like, part specifically for you, you still can't do it. <laughs> In the notion, it's, it's you not change in an audition. Not, it's not the part. It's not the part. <laughs> yeah. It's you. <laughs> we have put you in as this character. <laughs> can you be you? And I go in and do an audition, and they're like, he the is only thing I like, can I think he, of is that you go in and you put on a weird voice or something. No. <laughs> he he kind of he does a bit, and I don't think he knows he's doing it. But is okay, it, okay, okay yeah. You, I think it is. You're deliberately acting, so you'll be in being like. What are you doing, ball bag? And we're like, what are you doing? Just saying how you would say it. <laughs> Did you say you needed someone with a dramatic voice? <laughs> yeah, but he just comes in. Like, One is going to hit you a punch in the face, you fucking ball bag. Your gut is off. Oh, scrap us. And he does, you do just the weirdest voice and your eyes go weird too. Like, Thou yeah, does go, not like, really, care that your like, mother bought <laughs> those goodies. You, you owe me ten sterling, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> you're at, you don't blink <laughs> so you're there the whole time being like he's only called one why ball didn't you ball. tell me this before <laughs> because I'm not lying I'm not lying to I'm not lying I'm not <laughs> fucking are you working with me I mean I'm like if I was from, like I can't even let, like I'm not supposed to have seen your tape even doing that was like breaching the guidelines so I, can't, I couldn't really and do you I, have it it'd be funny to watch it if I can find it, I made I made it on my own laptop. Be, I did have it. Oh, have a look. Funny to watch. <laughs> have a look. We should actually do like watch some of my audition tips, yeah. right? And do your audition tip, and yeah. then we'll watch stars and the rest. Of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we'll do a commentary. Yeah. Just watch us being like, oh, we are shite at things <laughs> that we but think we can do. Everybody thought it was class. Like, don't get me wrong, I knew my fucking performance wasn't fucking great. Oh, yours was good. There I just wasn't a lot of words in your. You picked a song with very little words. Mm-hmm. And you nearly fall off the stage at one point. Yes. You do. So you go to lean into the camera and I'll be like, I'm the sick addicted. And you like fall forward and then fall back. It's really funny. <laughs> but you, like the yours, was, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, <laughs> your, cutting it out. you see your knees failing you and you near tip off stage. Your performance is good and you look the part. You just picked a song that has about four words in it. Well, 
But in fairness to you, you put the in it when there's no words, you're just fucking. Well, that's 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 the whole point of the thing. It was because it's something that I liked, and yeah, do you know what I mean. Yeah, but uh, we'll we'll see. Stars in your eyes. Me and Shane were talking about it on his live. We were like, oh, we don't want this to go out because <laughs> we're all. Shane said he watched this, got about ten seconds in, and, and it went and turned it off. I know, bigger. I know, which is <laughs> nuts. If it was that bad. <laughs> But it's a good show when you're in the room. Sounds like we're just slamming. Just don't record it. Yeah, yeah, we'll just never. No phones, everybody. Yeah. We'll fucking what count hearts. And the porn star getting through out of. Uh, what do you call it? Matt. Uh, Matt Rafe. Rafe. Show? Matt Rafe's gig. I, I swear to God, so she put this, this video up of her in handcuffs getting pulled out of Matt Rafe's show because she had her phone out and she's like, I didn't do it. Stop arresting me, these guys. And I'm like, this is the start of one of her fucking videos. Porn like. videos? Yeah. Fake stand up. So. <laughs> what do you, so what do, you do, mate? You. So, what I put below, everybody was like, oh, this is terrible. And I was like, no, but we're imagining how this ends. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then somebody put below, you're right, mate. I, I, I used to skip these parts in all our videos. <laughs> Do you skip them? Do you skip those bits? What, the story? The story? I, I don't have to. I want to know, I want to get involved in the characters. Nah, like, I, need, I need to know their no, motivations. The specific bits I need to get to. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, fuck it. Not, I'd imagine. But even certain bits of that. Really? Yeah. Certain angles. <laughs> I, do you want to get you? I'm like Steven Spielberg or yeah. porn. Yeah, I get do you. you. Know I mean? There are whoa, angles. Whoa, 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 stop it at the door. No, no, yeah. no, don't like that. Whenever you get the one from behind. Reverse cowboy, get, try the reverse cowboy. You get the boys bollocks. Try, I need a bit of, Oh my god. Do you know that angle? You don't like boys' bollocks? I don't like it when you're looking at the girl and that switches to the, the angle and you can see just the dude's bollocks going. I'm like, ugh, fucking flip it around. You don't like the motion? I, don't, I just don't like that. I don't like looking at it. What do you like seeing then? The woman. Do you just like penetration? Or you don't like seeing the penetration? I turn it off once they start fucking. I'm just there for the story. Yeah. I'm just going to be like, oh, you're that's how she pays for it. I'm like, that's, that's fucking ruined it with the right. It's always. Fuck's sake. Why'd you have to suck his dick? I was enjoying that. This is, it's always food. dirty with you people. You can never just have Why a nice wee chat. you just deliver a pizza without your fucking yeah. yeah. It's a parent-teacher interview and you're doing the fucking, this. They never eat the fucking pizza. Yeah, it's taxi. How's this taxi man ever get paid? He but fucking got, yeah. never takes a fur ever. I know, does he not have a mortgage and fucking two kids? <laughs> no wonder he doesn't get a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Uh, did you speak of the dirty things? Did you see Drake on Twitter? I, 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 I wanted to talk to you about this because you put up and says he has a big. Have you the picture? I don't have it. No, it was on Twitter. It's taken down now. I think his lawyers got quick in on that, but it was wild. Wild, like in what way? Didn't think he was packing. Like was there was it a girl took this and put this? Was, up? No, that's what's even funnier. You can tell he's forty now because he has that. Like he has his, like glasses on. There's phrases like that, and it's him in the mirror, like just swinging his dick. But fair play to it. It looks like he's trying to fix the signal on an old TV. <laughs> like he's just like weaving it like that, like, like he's signaling a plane coming in. How much is hanging out over the edge of the fucking house? Fucking most of it. Like he's moving no, it this no, way, no, and no, it's. No, no, no. Well, it's like, like a tree in the wind. That's like three and a half inches wide. Yeah. Right? How much more did he have out of it? <laughs> About half of it was in the hand. So the, right, so he's about seven inch. Fucking eye, like. Huh? Aye. I, only, you know, eyeball, that, eyeball that, estimate, like, that's but... That's not that impressive, like. It, you haven't seen it, mate. It's ridiculous. I'm, I'm being, like, it's fuck. I was looking at it, being like, this will be funny, and I was like, fair play, mate. All right, well done. Scunder. <laughs> I was more like... Did your dick crawl back into its hole when you seen the picture? I my dick fell. I haven't, I, haven't, <laughs> I haven't shown my dick. He'll be really self-conscious about himself. <laughs> So, like, I was like, ah, this wee man can't take it. But I was like, why? I always thought Drake would have a wee tiny dick because he's, he's a bit of a fucking nerd, like. Do you know, he's a weird guy, Drake. Have you have you ever seen, like, the videos of him where he's being zesty? No. Where someone's like, oh, my God. And he's like, oh, my God. No, I haven't He's like, oh, my God. So he's embarrassing. Canadian, he? Yeah. yeah. Alex Maybe Alex. that's what it is. He's just yeah. Canadian. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Scurry. Mm. Fucking Scurry. <laughs> Yeah, because like everybody like slags Drake, like calling him like a white boy and all yeah, that. Drake's kind the of kind of guy that floats in the air he when white? he smells pie. He's half white. He's half white. So, yeah. but like everybody slags him. So, yeah, there's all, loads, all the things that have just half? been like <coughs> black. Mm. Um, and it's, <laughs> nah, it's like everybody saying that and Drake really did finally beat off those I fucking he, white I boy rumors. I thought yeah. he was like a spalik. 
No. No? He's half black, half white. Wars, ha- I think he's Jewish also, isn't he? Really? His mum's Jewish? Or I think his dad's, he is Jewish. I think his, his man might be Jewish and his dad might be Jamaican. Is he Jamaican, is that? I think so. I don't oh, know. Mexican. I don't know. Jake, Jake Drake also just randomly puts on accents on songs, so I don't know where he's from. Because mm. he had that phase where he was trying to rap like he was English for a while. Really? Yeah, when when um like grime was really big, he was doing accents where like I pull up on the man them and you're like you don't talk like that. Mm. What are you doing? And then he has certain songs where he goes Jamaican. It's way he's fucking weird. But there's those memes that like just make fun of Drake. That one. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Drake's the kind of guy to laugh with his friends and then say, "Ha ha, I need this." Blings a fucking banger. Oh, passion for it. Don't even don't even talk to me. You for it? That's a great song. Passion it from miles away. That's a fucking passion in the alley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Drake was from the new lodge. yeah. Passion in the alleyway. Passion every fucking day. <laughs> see, the, see the way we'll have a new lodge. Two pack. We'll have a new lodge. Drake, as well. No, he hasn't appeared. But um, Joe you know was mad. Think him on the other day, Rihanna. Her video in the new lodge. Like it's just when you watch that video and you see her. Yeah. In a flat in the yeah. new lodge. Standing on a table on a chippy. Fucking racking all around her. <laughs> that is my favourite song ever. And it's I, a fucking tune. Oh, I mean, see, like, if I'm in, like, Benedict's and I'm sitting down and, and I hear on, that, do, you're, do, you're do, up do, I'm elbowing fat bitches out of the way, like. like well, I just fat bitches. Happy 40th, Patricia, because they can take it. Happy 40th, <laughs> Patricia. Fucking move. <laughs> oh, no, um, uh, his dad isn't Jamaican. He's just African-American. Ah. And his mommy is, uh... Canadian His Jewish mommy. person. I love that you guys say mommy and mommy. daddy. I don't know why it's so funny to me. Like, you have seen you be really angry and then answer your, you'll be like, fucking stupid bastards! Hello, mommy. It's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny to me. What's your crack bean channel? I'm seeing you all week, you know? Ah, uh, just work. Just work, mm. work, work down the podcasts. You must be um, so sick of hearing cunts talking. Yeah. Like Tim. <laughs> I could, I would rather be anywhere but here. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean. Like, I remember before doing this job, I was like, it's the dream job. And I'm like, put me in an office for the love of fuck. I'm out of things to say. I have nothing in my brain yeah. anymore. You start analyzing it more. You really do. Don't you? Like, mm-hmm. you're like not even, um, half a time now, you're not even thinking about the conversation. You're thinking about, like, the the time that it's at and like yeah. how long is probably left on this like part yeah, of the I've conversation. I've spoken about this thing for too long or yeah, it's weird how you start thinking about it like that. Mm-hmm. But I get you a hundred percent. Is anything else? I feel something massive has happened this week and I've forgotten. King Charles. Fucking, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. I couldn't remember. I thought it was something to do with like Liverpool. Uh, I couldn't remember. I said last night. Has anybody checked on Jimmy Brayson? It's been a terrible week, right? And I says like I'm fucking. Tweeting and I says it's fucking terrible because I'm sure he's in a bad way, but in the same sense, he probably has fingers like King Charles now with the fucking tweets that he does. <laughs> I, I don't know how he tweets as quick and how much is he. He's on the fucking, fucking ball. Like, like, does he have a fuck? I, I don't, don't I don't have him, so I don't see what he puts up. Jesus Christ, like it's relentless. And yeah. like the whole week in Stormont, it's just been ha ha, look at that. You know, like he's watching it. Like, yeah. He's busting. Him and Charlie everything. Lawson are never if off Twitter. Like. He's like a player in the sidelines. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, you have to give it to him because he hasn't given up. Like, the cunt is fucking relentless. Oh, he never will. Like, that's his but shit. What he should do now is just run for fucking election. I believe he did. I know he did before, but, like, run now. And then if he thinks he can do a better job or he can do, well, fucking get I mean, elected and go in and do. But there's no way they're going to elect him because no. people now just want pay raises and want everything fixed in the country and there's going to be loads of money now that the fucking thing's set up. Well, now that the working age is set to go up to 71 as well, it's fucking grim. Fucking grim. I'm not seeing pension, like, I'll die at fucking 53. I'm not I seeing fuck fucking a pension, pension, like. We're not getting it. No. See, by the time we're 71, it'll be 82. We're fucked. Yeah. We will not get a pension. You might. What? You might. I don't need it. I don't know if I'd like it. Like, not working ever. I don't think I'd enjoy it. Mm. You'll retire, but then still turn up to do fucking... People five a bit in the, in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> People will laugh and go, fuck them too, they don't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never been as busy in my life. <laughs> That's, I get my friends who work in, like, office jobs and they're like, you don't work at all. And I'm like, I do, but it's just easier to manage. 
So, like, your day's Fair more enough. free, but you can fit more Fuck in. my day's not. Jesus Christ, it's just fucking non-stop. Like, a, a, a quiet day for me, I of two hours to myself. That's a nice wee day for me. I wank a cup of tea. But I think it's, like, the free... Like, the <laughs> wanking wank a cup at the same About time. About three and a half games of FIFA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's literally, I'll be like, right, of time here, I can clean my room, or, like, I can get cleaned, or I can See, go I, get clothes. I don't know how you have time for that. Like, I, really I don't. I don't. I like, don't really. And I end up being late for shit because I'm mm. like, nah, one more game though. <laughs> Trying to that's pass so it. jealous. I know, I know. That's so like your mad. Why are you not away to school yet? And one more game. I was. Did you ever do that? Willie, one more game. Oh wow. Yeah. 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 Sit at seven in the morning playing fucking Germans see, on FIFA. See the thing, I I can't watch anything without watching it all. Like Game of Thrones, I have to watch. I had to watch it once it was done. Right. I knew it was done, and then I sat to say like a week. And then sat up every fucking night till fucking like oh, five you? in the morning. Nah. And blasted. Like I can't wait. I, I'm like that's all I can think about. I love a TV so show. Uh uh-huh. So I remember yeah. Andre got me the PlayStation. I am going back fucking twenty odd years ago now. PlayStation what would it have been? It was PlayStation two. Two. And it was face center. Yes, well again. And I sat from Christmas Day <laughs> right through to Boxing Day until I clapped it. <laughs> The whole fuck it, you missed Christmas. I just literally just sat like a full 20, I think it was 25 hours. Yeah, fucking. And my eyes were like, I was fucked for two days. You are sick, like when you do that, you're sick as fuck for like mm-hmm. two days. Uh, but like when you were a kid, you had a sleepover and you'd pull an all nighter, and then the rest of the week, you're f- fucked because you haven't fucked. slept. But it was like, I need it. And then once I done it, that was it. No, no, stop playing it. I can, see that's when people are like, I don't know why you can spend so much time on a on a PlayStation. It's so easy. Yeah, because you do, you don't like an R. Flies in. went down since TikToks went up. No, if anything, it's still it's bigger. It will never hit pandemic levels of no, big. But you know what I mean? Like in in terms of like before social media and all them things, gaming would have went away way up. But then now people spend a lot. Like people, kids now watch people playing right. games. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what they do? And this this sounds mental. Now I'm saying it. Split screen. Not even split screen. You'll have your PlayStation on. Say if you're playing like a team mode, and you die. Right, Just set your phone until you're back at the game. But that's yeah. it. The the, the, the the kids use like four devices at once. Yeah. Yeah. It's fucking insane. It's yeah. They'll have the iPad going, the TV. Human the beings are going to end up with fucking six eyes. We're gonna oh, have you seen the, 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 in the, the Vision Pro? What is like this? Like, right, so the Vision Pro is like a set of art, artificial reality glasses. Yep. Right? So it's like, they look like ski goggles. Have you seen these? I've seen them. So, you sound like Diona, Diona was seen doing this? the Empire. Seen this? The, the, the Empire last night was fucking unreal, by the way. I was, rammed to the bollocks. I was raging. Was fucking unreal. It was me, Andrew Rand, Shane Todd, and Diona Doherty, and the fucking place was rammed. Andrew was on stage. He was like, "I'm, I'm, on, I'm on stage. Do you knows I'm bringing notes?" And he was up, and he was fucking killing it. And a girl fainted, and the show had to stop. Oh, serious? Yeah. So like, it was one of them nights where it could have went fucking disaster zone, but it didn't. It went really, really well. But Diona, why I said that was, um, Diona was telling me that Sean got a pair of these goggles. I don't know if it's this. But she says he was, he was able to watch football and you're in rooms with other people who are avatars watching it. Yeah. yeah. Is that that? Is that that? Could well be. They're yeah. fucking dear. They're like, they're like four grand or something. Yeah, he may yeah. have just had like a, a VR a set. VR set. Yeah. <laughs> Love how you yeah. John Haggerty. Like, <laughs> nah, he probably didn't get them ones. <laughs> They had a pair of 3D glasses on the living room. Just... If Diona doesn't know when she finds out there are four grand, he's in fucking trouble now. I think they're 40 quid, Diona. I don't know. <laughs> got them in the, got them in the next yeah. corner market. We're, we're not sinking, Sean. They're not Sean. facing plus, they're plus facing <laughs> yeah. ones. Diona's yeah. going to the shops and Sean's like, ah, oh, here, I'm just going to put the goggles on for a minute and go sit in the room for a minute. No wonder, no wonder she's doing fucking two fucking... <laughs> Too fucking different. She's doing a tour. She's doing a fucking a play, a, play, a yeah. one woman play, and a fucking tour at the same time. It's all about Sean. The twenty nights and twenty nights in the lyric, and twenty nights on the tour. And she's yeah. like, Sean's like, Have you fucking sold that tour out yet? I've been on tour to get here for my meal. <laughs> so like the the idea. Give it that they want to. She works her fucking bollocks off, that girl. Well, oh, big time. Ba- like. It's like we're busy, and even she's doing triple what we're doing. We, we were talking insane. last night, and. uh she was saying, 
I fucking, uh, we're talking about, I was saying that I have a guy who does with social media, right? TikTok and stuff. And she's like, I need to get one of them and I need to get a driver too. She says like, I could be writing the whole way to and from gigs and I'm like, fucking take a break. I get that. that see when I'm gigging in like England and you take a train. See that hour and a half? I'm like, sweet, I can, I can edit no, stuff no, here. No, no, no. But driving's a good, don't. you finish a gig, you should yeah. stick on a fucking yeah. podcast yeah. and drive home and analyse your shit while th- and then yeah. like take a break yeah. and you, th- but see the other night I get that I used to get it all the time fucking like half one in the morning my brain went yo what about this oh yeah I and get you're that. like I'm yeah. too tired do you ever try to be like I'll remember it in the morning and my brain's I'll, I'll going remember. get up you <laughs> fucking wanker yeah write this down and I'm going Will you it's stop? always just as you're about to sleep just always leave me alone yeah it's fucking just fuck off <laughs> and my brain's like you're a fucking waster Fuck yeah. you. This could be the best joke ever. I will fucking jump out of yeah. your head, you can't. And then you wake no, up the next morning and read it. It's like, what if joke? monkeys had four dicks? And I'm like... <laughs> my brain doesn't give me a joke. My brain gives me a fucking movie. Yeah, Do you yeah. know what I mean? That's yeah. just the fucking sitting right for hours and you're going, will you stop? <laughs> it's about these four lads to go to a paper. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the twist. Here's the twist. I've been pitched that movie so many times. Here's the twist. <laughs> to take coke but then they get in trouble with drug dealers and you know yeah. <laughs> never seen that coming in there yeah. uh, one of them pulls a girl who's accidentally a man isn't that fucking something uh, every every time I've been pissed that movie it's up there with someone going I have an idea for a podcast and I'm like what is it they're like it's just me and my mates and I'm like well, every podcast ever <laughs> uh, but um, the vision pro <laughs> Yeah, the Vision Pro. <laughs> are you are you sponsored? Are we sponsored by yes. Vision Pro? We're, we're you wearing them now? Are you? Looking, yeah, you are you? <laughs> yeah. He's watching the Liverpool Google match. He has no idea what we're talking about. Google. They would actually do so fucking well for me because they, see when I'm playing a gig as as well. See if was, I love it if like my today's on in the background. I thought you were gonna say if you were playing them as like real life guitar hero. Oh yeah, and you could. Which just, would be fun. I play guitar then. <laughs> but they uh, get you programming if you're playing shit and going boo. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many people's getting them goggles and their missus is like, can you stop raving me with them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some call me Lisa Am and leave Patricia. <laughs> this isn't a Matt Rife gig. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, nah, so like. Yeah, your missus and watching the match. Your team scores like, and you come. As <laughs> yes! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> Like, fuck <laughs> off, Bantam Kerr. You're doing a cleansman on the carpet. Yeah! <laughs> I do miss that stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you can have like different screens up, like in front of your vision. So you can see, like, life. Le- normally, like, it's, you can just see what you can see. Screens, but there's screens all screens in front of you. You know, so like. What's this can- fucking chip that you get in your brain? The Neuralink? What's that? The Elon Musk Elon Neuralink? Elon Musk is going to put a fucking chip in your brain. Here, chip me up. That boy. sounds like a threat. Huh? <laughs> He's chip me fun. up. You want chip? No. I like a it. fucking dodgy Skywalks? You're looking chip? Yeah. Well, unreal. I don't know. I don't trust him. I, I, ju- I don't trust well, what, him. What? I, I haven't read into this. I'm just mentioning it because of the thing. But it, it, it's meant to make you smarter. No, well, it's meant to... Monitor like your brain activity. Imagine he puts all the mega chips in people's head and the yeah. Connor Burns virus hits everybody in oh, their chips. That's all. <laughs> you just have a full fucking planet. Imagine I can't have an access to Listen, your brain. Punk your face. <laughs> <laughs> Buy me punk a new phone. Burns. <laughs> Buy me a new chip. But like it's meant to monitor your brain. He's off the boil a wee bit, have not he? He has. He'll be back though. He'll be back. <laughs> Buy me a new chip. <laughs> Will I get him in next week to do? No. <laughs> oh why I won't be here he'll think he's coming whatever. in every week yeah do do whatever you want I'm not here um, but he, it monitors your brain activity to tell you if you're meant to be like catching diseases or they're developing in your body or if like cancer's developing mm. in concept sorry in theory good concept good idea do I trust Musk no Is why that- not I have a dodgy cunt now, I don't trust him. Do you think he's trying to make everybody his robot? Yes. I do, I do believe that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they get the world and he controls it. Yeah, yeah. Do you think he's sitting with a big white cat in front of the screens? 
Like that's, ZM Gaga or something? I uh, yeah, he's weird because he's like half evil genius and then half just shit poster on Twitter. Mm. Like he spends half his time being like, here's my plans for the future and then also going, here's some memes I like. Mm. I don't trust them. Mm. But also it's that thing of super conspiracy theorist. If they have a chip in your brain, they really are monitoring everything, every, everything you thought. think of. Pedos won't get that. <laughs> That's how you spot a pedo. Uh, uh, I'm not getting the chip. Uh, you're a fucking pedo. <laughs> That's what the market. That's campaign. the market champion. If you don't get this, you're a pedo. <laughs> Every cunt's getting it. Jonathan, or was it really? What's wrong, Marty? A chicken? <laughs> no, I'm a fucking pedo. What? No! <laughs> I'm not a chicken. I'm a pedo. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm just a nonce. <laughs> There's a really good video of someone like warning it about their house and like what you could see in it. Uh-huh. Um, but I can't find it here. But that I had saw the other day. So this like, the glasses have, or the Neuralink? The no, this is the the glasses. The glasses. Has anybody got the Neuralink in yet? One dude. One dude. They're testing it on like one guy. <laughs> I know who it is. Who me? <laughs> Connor <Carver. laughs> <laughs> Burns. What's my map round? Tell me again. He's like, hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Squeeze the day, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, this guy thinks about money buses a lot. Money yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bus board? Yeah. <laughs> Surely that exists. <laughs> um, but what, what do you see what's on the goggles? Uh, so you can see, like, you can put up different TV screens so you can connect up, like, your, say, your Sky subscription or whatever. So you could, you have the matchup on somewhere you could be like watching something on Netflix somewhere else you could have your emails up like um, see that's all too much that's know. all too your much your brains aren't no. hard like, we're gonna Wally's gonna end up being a real fucking documentary yeah. I fully believe that like like a lot sooner than we think it'll be we'll all be fat cunts just fucking just on screens all the time yeah just getting wheeled about yeah mm. literally that that will happen fucking great movie comedians There'll be no, fatter. yeah. There'll be no need for it. Oh, uh, did you enjoy it? The sponge cake was delicious in Blinkers. It tasted like. It's not chippy. It's not chippy. I've heard a lot of people say this to I, me. I watched. Just, I don't okay. give a fuck. Right. <laughs> Blinkers is great. It it's is lovely. Chippy. I know. I don't know why we went to Blinkers, but it was great. But they do a sponge cake that's like school dinner sponge cake. Look like, nice. Blinkers or chinkers? Did you laugh there? Like. For people that don't know, if you don't know, chinkers is what we call a Chinese takeaway. I'm getting the chinkers. <laughs> don't label me, I'm a fat. That's what you call Chinese That's how I call them Chinese. You, what? I, I you call can't them say Chinese. No yeah, people that take that. What, chinkers? Yeah, when's No, that? but I, I'm just saying that that's what it was. It's yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm getting the chinkers. <laughs> don't know what's making me laugh. You can't say, you can't say chinkers, but you can say I'm getting the kebab. That's not a slur. I'm getting an arm. <laughs> you, yeah, you can't turn around and be like, you, you know, you dirty kebab. No one, that's not a thing. You dirty chinkers? Yeah, if you call someone bad, mm, that's, that's racist. But Chinese people don't, that's not a slur on them, is it? Yeah. No, it's not, like... It's, think, that's it? what Shane Gillis got in trouble for. What did he say? He was on a podcast and they brought up, like, him using... I think he only said it, like, twice, but he said the word chink. And they, he, like, lost his career for, like, a year over it. No, is he back and hosting SNL this week? Yes. Is he? Yeah, because he's know, fucking because... brilliant. But yeah, he looked like it is like a, a, apparently a bad one. I can't, I can't really say it. Okay. <laughs> I Apologies. mean, no, no, no. But I'm just saying. Oh no, I'm, you're I'm, a, that, like that, it's a thing of your generation. Yeah, would say it. Would have said a chinkers. I um. My dad would say it too because it would have said a chinkies. I um. I, well, I never heard a chinky. No. No. That's what it, we wouldn't have said chinker. He would have said chinky. I used to take this youth group, right? And it was like, um, this particular group. Full of. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it, it was a group for like, young like LGBT people to come meet up and like, and do like, we activities like going to the cinema or like, and for this one, it was to make a podcast. Right. So like, I used to help them make a podcast every week. And, um, and they came up with a name for it. Which I thought was fucking hilarious. And they called it Gable de Gook. 
That's fantastic. Like, um, and so obviously it's a gob- it? gobbledygook, and yeah, you know, yeah, I think everybody got that. Didn't they? No, no, yeah, yeah didn't, did not need to elaborate. You know? Um, but uh, we got all sorts of shit for that, saying like, I can't believe like that, like this is such a racist group. And I was like, whoa, what the fuck, racist? What do you mean? And they're like, gobbledygook is like a fucking... Yeah, it means like... It, it originated from like, like fucking people going out to do trade with like oriental yeah. like businesses. Yeah, so that's and, what gobbledygook And means. they couldn't understand them, so they said they spoke gobbledygook. So, and I didn't know that. And who knew that gobbledygook was a fucking bad term? You knew that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I never knew that. I all. knew that, and I knew the gook came from that. Yeah, so I never knew that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen. I've seen. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I whoa. genuinely believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I do believe it. No, no, I'm panicking. But you just, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to you just reminded me of that guy who was at the chip farm where they were selling coke from it in the news interview. And he's like, "What? I didn't know that." <laughs> what? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. But yeah, that's where I only knew the word gook from. What's the Clint Eastwood movie where he says it about 40 times? Oh, uh, every Grand, Grand Torino. I Grand always Torino. called it Grand Torino, which is very different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I should like, when are they racing? That's Clint Eastwood still going, by the way. Really? Oh, fuck I. Fuck. Still making movies. He was old in Grand like Torino. 98, and he's still making movies. And it's we've cause... just probably killed him this week. <laughs> <Yeah>. him. <laughs> We well, haven't had a curse in a long time. Yeah. Either him or King Charles. Yeah. Yeah. King, like, Charles King Charles, King yeah. Charles, King Charles. <laughs> Do you know what? I'd, the rather, attraction. I'd rather King Andrew, or not King Andrew, it's the Peter Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, I think everyone would rather him. Yeah. Yeah. But who's next in line then? If it does happen, is it William? Is the next yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I saw a meme and it was like, it was out. Uh, and they're like, Prince, oh no, Prince William is wrong, man, they grab the belt! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, like, cashing in. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. He, uh, he's gone over rain for a long time. And do you know what? Harry came over to see his dad, and I think it was his dad telling him, listen, when I'm away, you're fucked, because he doesn't want to meet you. Because they didn't meet. Well, they haven't met since, like, no, the he, coronation. Yeah, yeah. From he wrote the book. I initially was, like, on Harry's side. When I was like, if he doesn't want that life, I'm like, I don't think but he should. Once you go out, you start but then you're like, I just want privacy. By the way, my new reality show, I'm like... That's a sentence that like can work with the royal family on One Direction at the think, same time. Do you think <laughs> when you're a prince like that and you know your brother's going to be the king, you just go, ah, fuck it? Yeah, I went to Epstein's Island, fuck this. Oh, <laughs> fuck it. You know what I mean? But 100%, yeah. Because they're going to make you work for them. And especially... I think that's what happened. Yeah. Because if you watch like The Crown, like... Not that I'm into the royals or anything, but I did watch it. They Ooh, understand nah, it. You have, under, you have to understand your enemies. You know? <laughs> but uh, watching it, like all the other ones are made to fucking work. Yeah. Like, and I say work, people go, fuck off, Paddy, they're hardly working. No, but they tell them who they can marry, who they can fucking do. You don't get I, your life. Exactly. And I think Harry just went, you know what? Fuck it, I'm doing yeah. what I want because this is the way it'll go. Yeah. And his ma probably warned him about that and fucking other people probably says, listen... They'll tell you who to marry, what to do, fucking whatever. And he's mad, Paul's, I'm just going to be yeah. an outcast. Well, that's when you look at how his ma died. And then the way the media were in talking about his wife. Yeah, in a car, but being chased and hounded by the media. I brought the kids to see the tunnel. Did you? Mm. That's a massive pivotal thing, like, in, in his. Is there, like, a... Like, a... There was nothing I could see. No? No. Real? I thought they'd mark it somehow. No, no I, I didn't see anything. If there is, I didn't see it. No. And obviously you can't walk through the tunnel because there's traffic. I yeah. just brought the kids and I was like, that's where Princess Diana died. Holy because shit. It's a massive thing in history like to see yeah. you seen it. Like, was that Eiffel right? Tower, Princess Diana. So I was like one or two when it happened. What would it, was it like? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know if it was. I right? remember coming down the stairs, right, in the house. I think somebody was, I don't know. Somebody was in the house with me anyway, and then my dad was down the stairs, and I came down the stairs, and my dad was making sausages. But not gay ones. And he went, Princess Diana's dead. And I went, right? And he went, no, seriously, she died in a car accident. And I was like, right? And he went, go and look. And I went down and looked, and went, fuck, that's terrible. And I went back up to bed. <laughs> Fair enough. I didn't realise the impact. Yeah. 
until like it unfolded for the next fucking two months. Yeah. Like it was just everywhere. That Elton John song. But the whole thing loop. about it was the outcry from the fucking like the ordinary people in Britain and stuff like that. Because you didn't realise how much they fucking loved her. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. And I, I think I'm, the royal family went, fuck. And when you look back on it, you're like the fucking media. Like, even when we look. Pounded her. Pounded her. That, even that fucking thing we read last week on the Do Patreon. Do you think she was killed? Nah. Nah. I don't. Hands up. Genuinely. I, not I, even hatred for the Brits. Hang on, I'll tell you. 100% I think she was, you do? she was took out Yeah Because I think she was just bad For the whole image And I, I, I do think it was a direct thing From the royal family Maybe not But the institution that runs the whole thing Fucking definitely I mean they're like I'm saying no Because I'm like It doesn't make sense But then I'm like I mean Fucking weirder shit Has happened She was about to become a Catholic And she was fucking Riding a fucking Muslim Yeah I mean how fucking bad Of an image is that For the Like the royal family That was like Ugh. Yeah Do you know like, at the start, Charles wasn't allowed to fucking marry Camilla because she was already married. So they went and found Diana and then fucking made him marry her. Uh, and then it was a disaster. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Then, you ever, ever read his, like, love letters? <clears throat> Did you ever hear the phone call your man the caravan picked up? <laughs> no. I wish I was a tampon going up your fanny. Ooh, Camilla. that's what I was oh thinking of. Oh, my about. God. Yeah. Oh. Horrendously oh. One would like Because oh. my fingers Are like big Fucking sanity uh, towels And I would I would stay <laughs> there. Oh. And he's like I would stay there All day And you would go about, Nice and warm You would go down To the shops And I'm just there And you're like What the fuck Is he talking You weird cunt Yeah you have kids Me the fucking freak So does his brother Yeah <laughs> <laughs> And he's like You don't want him Or <laughs> <laughs> But he called the wee so Cunt William's kid Oh, the wee evil one? Oh, the one that's going to be the next king after that? Mm-hmm. Fucking Joffrey looking motherfucker. That's what I saw. Everybody was saying, we're one fucking French tunnel away from my sweet Joffrey con. <laughs> like being king. <laughs> he scares me. He's a wee bastard, that kid. What is his name? Uh, let's see. Brandy or something? <laughs> Aye. Aye. I call him Brandy. Drake. He's not going to be a king. He's going to run a chip in. <laughs> wee King Brandy. Wee King Brandy. <laughs> George. George. King George. Brandy sounds like a guy I'd buy off. <laughs> Bring King Brandy, see if he's a booty. Don't King Brandy's taco chip special. <laughs> <laughs> you getting anything from King Brandy's? That's <laughs> <laughs> what you call Chinese around the corner from me. That sounds like it's so, yeah, like King you guys Brandy. would tell me it's the best pizza shop ever. King Brandy's. Because it's in Andy Town, King Brandy's. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, King George, he's a wee. A wee evil looking fucker. There's a there's a there's a place in Allytown called Nan Dose. But it's N A A N D O. Oh they're, yes. they're walking a fucking Nan-dose. fine line there. Like <laughs> Nan- Oh, they're playing Dose. a dangerous game. Like. Nan Dose. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any in, in East Belfast that you can think of like that? No, they, there used to be that for Cod For Cod Nostler, which was superb. Uh, in terms of marketing, and then he opened one on Andy Town called the Codfather. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah, for Cod Nostler was very the, the George Best Burger. I don't know why I closed. He should. It was Red Face in Calderon. Ah, uh, yeah. He should have called it Cod Day Matatu. Because it was in the Irish Quarter. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Is there any other funny ones? I don't know. Every time I think Cod Nostler on every top. The chuck wagon in Urnfield is fucking hilarious because it's in a Protestant estate. The chuck wagon? Yeah. Is it a chip, like a chippy wagon? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a chippy. But it's oh, right, right. The chuck wagon. Nice. Mm, I haven't had heard of it. Ah. Uh, maybe fucking 10 years. Used to be one near the Oval. It's not funny, but it was fucking the, the Bethany. Ah, yes, I remember. Oh, I don't know if it's still good. See, Why'd you... Turn full Chinese man. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's how good it was. Fish and chips. I, I, uh, <laughs> I would just start gambling any time I'm in. It turned me Chinese. Like, it was fucking delicious. They used to do a wee curry sauce, but it had like raisins in it. Oh, it oh so that was good. like a sweet curry. Yeah. Do you know what? I hate man. raisins. And I remember never having that. And then my mate like got a sweet curry chip one day. And I had two of the chips, and I was like, that curry sauce is fucking it's the, great. It was, like, sweet, but it had a wee spicy said, cake kick to it. It's the fucking best curry ever, like, Do you know, great. see, when I was at school, 
I used to get my mom to make me like a ham and cheese muffin, you know, the big muffin. Yeah. And then there was a, when I went to St. Rose's, there was a chippy in the middle of a beach mount, and I would go up and get a curry chip, and I put it in with the ham and cheese muffin one day. Oh. And that was me and my mate, like, fucking for that full year. That was every day. We split a curry chip and a ham and cheese muffin and fucking put the, it was, and the cheese and all melted. It was the fucking oh. nicest. Curry chip in a fucking muffin Bob, is the nicest a fucking time. thing ever. That is a good time. I'm starving to. I, uh, there's um, loads of, like, I'm looking up <coughs> knockoff, like, takeaway places. Uh-huh. So there's, like, OFC, which is Obama fried chicken. <laughs> it's just racist. There's, um, <laughs> uh, there's, uh, it's a Burger King, Burger Friends. But it's just, like, the Burger King logo, but it says Burger, Burger King's King. forever ruined by that guy wearing the crown on the plane. Oh, <laughs> Hey, I'm not repeating yeah. what he says, yeah. but yeah. Um, he drops the M word a lot. Burger. Is this the guy with the hat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, but see the mad thing about it? Halfway through the rant, he goes, I'm part African. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he fucking does say it. Yeah. And it's so Aaron Butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Aaron Split. So every time I see a wee Burger King crying now, I just see Aka. There's oh, he just sits and shouts it. They go. Da, 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 da. It's just no, but yeah, yeah, but it's just in my mind. Though. What else is there? Uh, we've uh, got uh, sub day. It says uh, subway. It says That's subway. Right. We've got pizza hot. That's just a warm. Please tell me. That's just a warm pizza. Please in the tell me there's like in Bangkok a pizza slut. Pizza <laughs> slut. If there's not, there should fucking be pizza slut. Instead of five guys, we've got five lads. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what's the other one where was that other one fuck's sake um, did I say Burger Queen already I think I might have you said Burger Friends you didn't say Burger Queen A bur- Burger Queen um, Mc Kebab <laughs> just it's McDon- It's like the McDonald's logo but it's just a kebab a kebab <laughs> Amazing. You stroke the logo. Now they're playing a fuck it. They're playing a fire there. I was like in the movie McDowell's. Do you remember? McDowell's in uh, Coming to America. Coming to America. Oh, I've never seen it. Oh, I need to see it. Joking. <laughs> I know what it is. I'm just holy answering. fuck. Man. Saw the second you know, one. No, no. See, you've ruined it. You fucking ruined it <sighs> yeah. by watching the second one because the second one's like nothing. Yeah. The second one was dead on. I know, it's good for fun. It fine. But it was like it's like. Do you ever watch anything now compared to when you watch the original and you're like, that, it's like watching the A-Team now, you go, what the fuck was this? Yeah. But when you watched it when you were a kid, it was like fucking amazing. I, my dad always had Eddie. I, I never watched Eddie Murphy movies. My dad had them on all the time. I never watched them. Donkey Donuts. Donkey Donuts. The, only, the first Eddie movie, my, what movie I watched is Nutty Professor. It's still my favorite. I fucking love the Nutty Professor. Dave Chappelle's in. Fucking yeah. great though. Starbucks coffee. Star- she pills in quite a bit. He was in, like, everyone was like, oh, he just blew up. And you're like, no, he was in movies from like the long, early long 90s. Like, yeah. like, yeah. There's films I watched now. Like, Fuck, there's Dave Chappelle and yeah. that. Do he's know? like 21 of them. Oh, yeah. He's been in loads of movies. Like, he's in fucking, what's the movie? Half Baked, where it's his movie. Yeah. It's quite good where he sells the weed. There's um, he, Joe Rogan has had a mad career, hasn't he? He was in that one News where big fat cunt. What do you call him? The zookeeper. He was in Zookeeper. Oh, with Kevin James? Yeah. Is he in that? Yeah, he plays like the boyfriend of somebody, like somebody's ex-boyfriend that he goes to dinner with or something. He was, he was the host of Fear Factor. Yeah, the first thing he was in was news radio. Do you ever see, the, do you ever see the Fear Factor where your man fucking starts <laughs> going to knock his missus his bollocks in? I've seen it. And Joe Rogan grabs him by the throat. So he's like, they're, they're like slobbering each other and like one of them hits the other one. He's like, hey, and he's like, you can hit other people. He's like, don't hit people on this show. I don't care what you do behind closed doors. And then the guy squares up to Joe Rogan. And he grabs him by the throat. Yeah, and this is before everyone knew Joe Rogan could fuck was like himself. fucking eight, like eight down black belt. And the guy goes for him and Joe Rogan immediately just clutches him. And The Miz breaks it up. That's who breaks it up. Fuck. Wrestler and I, The Miz. He's like, oh fuck, Joe. You can see Joe, he has him. And he's seconds away from just fucking throwing the knee in like... Joe Rogan's scary. I would. Oh, he'd knock your fucking bollocks in. I'd fight him, but in Oster Hall, if you want to fight in Oster It would Hall. be the quickest fight ever. I know, but I would do it. I would do it just for the sake of it. 
Uh, because he got in, he was commentating UFC way before it was big. I think he just liked it. Yeah. So that he was like, I'll commentate. And then it blew up. And some, so he's done like three different, literally no one knows him for his stand-up. They know him for everything else. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, if you haven't got tickets, the regional tour is completely sold out apart from Armagh. Armagh has increased the room to fucking 900 for fuck's sake. So there's tickets, 9th of March, Armagh. But get your tickets, 4th of October for the SSC Arena. Can't stay at it a much. The floor's away. So get your tickets. It's going to sell out. Yeah, I man. want you all to get there. It's going to be a great show. It's the only time you're going to see Dagger in Belfast this year. So fucking get your tickets. 4th of October, SSC Arena, Ticketmaster. Anything? End of February, the show uh, tickets. Well, I may as well announce it here. Tickets for my waterfront show will be out um, on the end of February. Scumbag Millionaire. Come see that. Scumbag. What a fucking yeah. name. Yeah. Also, also uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I have one more. That was like fucking. Yeah. No, me. Right. No, also. Yeah. You go ahead. Listen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Um, I'll be doing the Edinburgh Fringe again in the underbelly at 655 in the Clover Room. So come to that as Underbelly, well. you've jumped over to the Changed, other side. Changed over, yeah. I had a few. I had a few. I had a few. You made me. Um, I will be. So, yes, and also I'm doing Australia. It's going to be out. Tickets for sale. They're already for fucking sale, but we're not allowed to fucking announce, which is very frustrating because they obviously don't want people to get discounted tickets. But I'm going to be in <laughs> Melbourne, Perth, Brisbane, and what's the other shit? Sydney. Yeah. Go get the tickets. We'll have the links. Can we put the links on? Where? Tickets. Links. There. Or there. Here. There. Yeah. Tickets for... SSE tickets for Australia. Yeah, they okay. will literally be down under the link. Down under. Thank under you. Under. Thank you. Fuck it. <laughs> that was fucking very quick. <laughs> you great yeah. galah. Head on over to the Patreon for the Q and A episode. Other than that, we'll see you next week. All the best. I feel